Yeah, let me, let me back up and just say a little bit about how I, I think we got this far with the kind of creativity and the wealth of the internet that a number of the speakers talked about, because I think we're, we're at a spot where we're trying to do it again. Everybody in this room is trying to do it again. And so it's important to kind of look back at recent hi history. And I think you know, it goes without saying, it wasn't just the networks, it was the apps that you know, have built what we've got right now. And, and John said, you know, without email and, and the web coming out, you don't see this tremendous demand for networking. And so you know, we're, we're trying to, um, I think all of us in this room, do that again, but with things we can't even imagine now. I mean, nobody in 94, forget 94, the late 80s, would have ever thought that you could create a huge business on sending 140 characters around for your friends. And, and that's the kind of businesses we fill here. Uh, and you know, we've built them because what we've done is put out a set of building blocks that innovators who will probably be none of us in the room. I mean, this, this stuff is, is amazing. What Oblong is doing is amazing. So maybe there are a few of those innovators in the room. But really what we're trying to do is throw out there the building blocks that the people who have the Twitter of the future, but in huge 3D and lets you teleport to space and all of these kind of things, uh, will be able to do. And we can't imagine it now. And so the point is not to predict what the applications are, but to, to create the conditions that people can innovate and create wealth. And if you go back uh, and, and look at what happened with the internet we have now, you know, TCP IP is part of the story, the network is a part of the story. But an other critical piece is that we have HTML and JavaScript, that the app environment, right, it's not just the apps, is a free and open set of building blocks that both anyone can use and that are compatible across a wide variety of devices. So what, and that's critical, you don't have Facebook, you don't have Google, you don't have Twitter, you don't have all of you know, Amazon, eBay, the e-commerce we have now, without a common free set of tools at the network and the app layer to build out the thing that we have now. So what we want to see happen, and, and Mozilla has been very much a champion of the app layer, the HTML stack layer of that, is we want to pitch in by helping to build those same conditions, because we've got such brilliant people building the network layer. So we've, with NSF, uh, Susie is, is here somewhere, and uh, you know, it's been amazing to work with her team, are launching the Mozilla Ignite challenge today. Uh, the idea is to invite developers to come forward on top of Genie or, or other future generation networks with apps that show us what the future might look like, but using the next generation of open web technologies, so the very cutting edge of HTML5, which you, know, you don't think of HTML as having 3D and uh, two-directional teleconferencing or being able to pull data inside a video and manipulate it, but all of that is there in the edge of what's being implemented in HTML. So to invite people to use those technologies on these networks or to develop other open source building blocks that others are going to be able to use on these, uh, tech, on these networks um, to fuel the next generation of innovation. And so very concretely, we've thrown out a challenge for people to, to kind of use those web standard technologies and Genie to uh, propose apps in healthcare, uh, in education, in other priority areas. The phase that opened today is a brainstorming phase. So anybody here can go say, here's what I think Twitter teleporting you to the moon looks like, draw it on a napkin, throw it in there. There's a, up to $15,000 in prizes for that napkin sketch round. But then it's where it gets interesting. We do a series of hack fests, we do a, a series of educational activities, and we start to work with uh, engineers who grab onto some of those promising ideas. And there's a little over $450,000 in prizes for the best apps that, that come out of that. And we'll go and we'll do you know, some of these local hack fests in places have got Genie Networks. Um, but we'll also just open this to anybody on the internet who wants to come in and say, hey, uh, this is what I can imagine. Uh, here's my prototype. Um, and I think at the end of the day, we'll actually be able to see a bit of the future.